This video part is going to be a little bit shorter, but we're going to be talking about tags. Tags is not something we've covered yet, so now seems like a good time to do it. If we go to the inspector and choose any game object in the scene, any game object at all, it can have something called a tag. It's up here just below the name. And so currently all of these game objects are untagged. And when you start a new game, it will come with a few built-in tags, such as respawn, finish, editor only, main camera, player, game controller. But we can go ahead and add our own tags here by choosing add tag, and then adding it to the tag list. So for example, we could call this ground, push enter to save, and have another one called maybe sky. Now, the reason that we want to use tags is sometimes we only want events to happen when it is set with a specific tag. So for example, if we look at this trigger area which plays our music and we look in Playmaker, it has a wait for trigger for this area. But what happens if something else passes through this trigger area that's not our player? Maybe we have you know, some enemies, or we have some birds in the game, or we throw something through it. Maybe we don't want that sound to start playing every time. So how we can manage that is by using a tag filter. So on the event here, trigger event, we see it has collide tag. So I only want this music to play when the player passes through. So how do we know what's the player? Well, we have to tag the game object. So I'm going to grab the third person controller and change the tag to player. So now whenever anything passes through with that tag player on it, it will trigger the sound. So the same goes for the collision event on this no-go block. So in this case, again, we have collision event on collision enter what is it colliding with? It should be, or what we want it to be, is player. So this is a fairly simple way to help manage your game objects. These are not really used to organize them in a hierarchy sense of things, but is used to organize them in an event manner, as in when two things are acting on each other, or when you're looking for something, check for the game object with, you know, player, tag, uh, sky, you know, enemy, and whatever it may be. So throughout the rest of this um, tutorial, we're going to be using lots of tags as we make our game.